So as we all know, tomorrow marks an important day in the world of cinema. The day when Oscar hopefuls from around the world find out if they've made the first cut in the journey to winning a little golden man. Tomorrow at 1.30pm or 5.30am if you're American, we will find out who has made the Oscar shortlists. <laughs> And you may have realised by now, the Academy? Well, they have a type. From heartfelt biopics to dramatic retellings of real life events, here's what we think we have in store. First up, it's the return of the old timer. The Academy just loves giving awards to the veterans of the film world. In recent years, they have dished out nominations to the likes of Bruce Dern in Nebraska, as well as a best supporting nod for Christopher Plummer in 2011's Beginners. So far this year, all the talk is of Michael Keaton's performance in Birdman. Although, Robert Duvall and the Judge shouldn't be ruled out either. Next, we have the trusty biopic. You all know the drill by now, anyone who plays an historical figure is practically guaranteed an Oscar nomination. The last few years have seen notable wins for Daniel Day-Lewis in Lincoln and Meryl Streep as Margaret Thatcher in The Iron Lady. This year, Benedict Cumberbatch is pretty much in there for his performance as Alan Turing in The Imitation Game, and Eddie Redmayne is also looking likely for the theory of everything. Despite its tragic exclusion from the BAFTAs list, we're still going to back Mike Lee's Mr. Turner for a nomination as well. On a similar theme, the words based on a true story seem to be synonymous with hard-hitting cinema these days. The King's Speech, 12 Years a Slave, The Social Network, Zero Dark Thirty, you know the drill. This trend looks set to continue with Bennett Miller's Foxcatcher, starring a virtually unrecognisable Steve Carell. Charles Strayed's story of self-actualisation starring Reese Witherspoon as Strayed adds another interesting dimension. It's often said that the Academy loves an actor to go the extra mile, and often this can look like a pat on the back for an actor who's put themselves through a punishing ordeal to portray a character. Look at Hilary Swank in Million Dollar Baby or Natalie Portman in Black Swan. Both performances had a pretty amazing degree of physicality. At the other end of the scale, the sight of skeletally thin Matthew McConaughey in Dallas Buyers Club certainly raised a few eyebrows and possibly helped him stand out from the crowd at last year's Oscars. But what do you think? Let us know in the comments below. And thanks for watching.